Okay, hello everyone, Mark Sanson again, and the task here is to create teeth for this guy. So first of all, uh, I will start the teeth uh, as a separate model. So Polymers 3D is selected, and it's not a star, it will be a Sphere 3D. And before I jump in and model uh, the figures, um, uh, the basic tooth, I have to adjust the density of the model because uh, it's just way too much. So I will switch this to... 15 and 15 uh, that's a fairly low resolution but it's absolutely good enough for us now uh, the size the overall size is okay I will stretch this out and uh, this is still not uh, a uh, uh, tooth look but I can go in deformation and adjust the um, taper now taper along the y-axis, so I have to turn off x and turn off z and turn on y and adjust the taper value. Now this is good. Uh, actually, if you want to create bend, you can actually create a bend. So it's a slight angle. If you wish, if you're interested, in, you can make this. Uh, I will leave it as it is. Actually, if you want to create more, you can do it, but first, this is just a sphere 3D, so I will convert it to a poly mesh. And uh, now I have a polygon group and rename this as uh, Tooth. And here we go. Uh, if you want, you can create multiple variations, uh, but it's not a necessity. So right now, let me go to the sculpt and I have to invite the freshly created model to insert it in the head. So go in, insert and choose Tooth. And yeah, the size is fairly big, so I have to switch to W, scale, move it to the front, scale it even more, and frame. So, uh, position it according to my needs. So, uh, usually uh, some folks like to prepare the gum, prepare the mouth first, and then creating the teeth. Uh, I do the opposite. So, uh, first, you need to have the teeth and look uh, about the overall distribution and proportions of the teeth and once you are satisfied with the layout then you are creating the gum and the sockets of the teeth otherwise it's just uh, it's a never-ending game so um, first make the perfect smile and then tailor uh, the connective tissue uh, between the head and and the and the tooth now once you have one you can always hold down control and drag and it will create another one and don't forget if you have it make sure that you are making the right corrections as soon as possible so you don't want to release and grab it again so if it's possible make it good from the first now let me switch back to Q dry mode uh, delete the mask we don't need any mask and uh, go down and my problem is that we have the same polygon groups of course we have because we just uh, copied this so poly groups auto group and the reason I'm making this is the following so when you want to model them when you want to repose them uh, you want to have select them separately so for this reason if you are in move mode and you have different polygon groups like I do now I'm holding on control and tapping on a poly group and that will be selected everything else will be masked and I'm ready to move this so control tap on a group and now I'm good to go control tap on a group and good to go uh, so once you have these one side on the right side usually the figures right side you can go in geometry and I have it here in the custom mirror and velvet uh, you know modify topology mirror and well then here we go uh, uh, good news uh, we have this and symmetry is turned on X okay now how to go further of course if you want to shape them uh, you can choose the good old classic BMT brush uh, BMT brush is a great the move topological brush because you have no uh, it's not uh, really a problem to grab something you don't have to mask because topological brush is sensitive about what you select you can also uh, uh, choose uh, different masking options uh, move the topological masking is one so for example if I'm choosing a different type of brush like BIN it's the inflate brush 
I can turn on topological and I can turn on this range and set it to 3 and 2 and uh, now I'm good to go so if you want to increase the volume of the tooth uh, I can do that or if I'm lazy and I don't want to set this even I can uh, choose the mask by color groups option so that's also working here because we have automatically created groups now create the groups first and then make the mirror uh, otherwise you will receive separated groups and uh, that may cause some troubles but once you are done uh, you can auto regroup again and uh, break up the symmetry so let me do this so now I'm over symmetrical editing is done so I'm walking down go into my polygroups again and auto groups now I have individual groups for everything and uh, if I want to make some uh, imperfections and uh, I'll make some changes to so control control tap on the model and just breaking up uh, the bowing uh, symmetry uh, I can do that as well all right so shift F and of course because it is a fairly low poly stuff you can control D subdivide it a couple times and yes because it's a separated model you can easily assign a new material probably a toy plastic that shines through uh, the mouth. Okay, thank you very much, and that's it. See you next time. Goodbye.